and welcome to another episode of 10 Minute Trips. In this episode, we're visiting the French region of saint emane which, despite being just three hours from the Channel ports, remains one of the lesser-known delights in Europe. Boasting medieval towns and scenic villages, this French region holds historic wonders and breathtaking scenery. saint emane is a county uh, it represents around 50% uh, of the Ile-de-France region. And uh, we have, uh, for example, two UNESCO sites, uh, Fontainebleau Palace and the Gardens. Uh, we also have uh, the medieval city of Provence. You have uh, the little village of Crécy-la-Chapelle, very famous for the painters. saint emane is located just to the east of Paris and gets its name from the Seine and Marne rivers which flow through it. Much of the region is overlooked by tourists who mostly just flock to the popular Disneyland Paris theme park. However, just a few miles down the road, the less well-known delights of the Marne Valley have so much more to offer that it's a wonder it's still so unfamiliar to so many holidaymakers. Provence is a medieval city, so it's divided into two parts. There is the upper part, uh, the medieval one classified as in the UNESCO site, and the lower one, that is uh, the, mid the modern town. With a history stretching back over a thousand years, Provence is an intriguing and fascinating place. Provence had such standing that it even minted its own coin. Today, visitors can find much to remind them of these past glories, not least being the mighty city walls. This mammoth structure is still in excellent condition and it's easy to imagine just how protected the inhabitants and traders must have felt in times of trouble. Wander along the labyrinth of ancient streets to the impressive Eagles of the Ramparts medieval show. Held in a purpose-built auditorium just inside of the city walls, performers reenact scenes from the Middle Ages while birds of prey hover over the heads of the audience. It's hard not to be wowed by the performers' skills and theatrical staging as they ride around on horses and camels, making this a truly spectacular experience. Just along the road is the ancient Tithe Barn, a former merchant house that uses waxwork models to recreate scenes from the different merchants and their trades. Inside a beautiful building, this interesting audio-guided exhibition really brings to life the story of how the people of this time lived and worked. For a truly authentic stay, try the Demure des Vieux Bains, a 12th century hotel with impressive 18th century suites. It was originally a bathhouse for the town, but now you can expect original architecture and Italian furnishings that make for a lavish and unique stay. An hour's drive from Provence, langny sur marne is a gorgeous little town boasting gourmet restaurants and beautiful riverside walks. Barges and pleasure boats pass you by as you relax on the banks of the river, making this a popular destination for those seeking tranquility. In the centre of the town is the Notre Dame des Ardennes, a beautiful church that holds many historic tales. It has three entrances due to multiple attacks in the medieval times. It was destroyed by the Vikings in the 9th century and then raised again in the 11th century by a count named Mo Herbert II. Yves Legat of St. Seger took over as council of the abbey. Decades later, Joan of Arc arrived in the town and loved it so much she declared it the Road of Destiny. As you marvel at the interior, there's a real sense that you are in a place that is very special. In total contrast to the calm and tranquility of Lagny, the bustling streets of Fontainebleau are full of designer boutiques, cheese shops and wine merchants. We have a, a lot of local specialities. Let's start with cheeses, uh, with the, the Brie cheese. Brie de Meaux, Brie de Melun, Brie de Nangis, Brie de Provence. 
Chateau Fontainebleau has been the residence of French monarchs such as Louis VII and Napoleon III for over eight centuries. Inside, you can explore the wondrous halls and grand 12th century galleries. The opulent rooms quake under a huge number of priceless paintings, glorious tapestries and lavish furnishings that have stood the test of time in this awe-inspiring spectacle. It's easy to see why over 300,000 people visit this chateau every year. And don't miss the equally stunning gardens, a favourite for locals and visitors alike. The origin, there was a spring in Fontainebleau, so a castle was built around this spring, Fontaine, so that gave the name Fontainebleau. And uh, the city was built around the castle that is today uh, inscribed on the UNESCO uh, heritage list. Another place to visit here is the Chateau de vaux le vicomte a stunning 17th century masterpiece created by Nicolas Fouquet. Its wonderful gardens surround it, and inside you can take a tour of the magnificent furnished rooms comprising of Fouquet's private apartments, ceremonial salons, and staff rooms and kitchen. In the evening, you can dine in one of the chateau's restaurants overlooking the gardens. You will enjoy a candlelit meal followed by a spectacular show of fireworks to really make this experience a magical one. Mo is the principal city on the Marne and the tranquil atmosphere and untroubled narrow streets around the historic centre make it well worth a visit. The magnificent cathedral with its unique architecture and stunning carvings is particularly spectacular. Sneak out through the side door and explore the nearby chapter house, once known as the Bishop's Palace where you can relax in the peaceful gardens located just inside the city wall. Half an hour's drive south of Mo is the Parc de Feline, home to more than 140 cats, representing 30 different species. From clouded leopards to palace cats and lions and tigers, the park has different areas, each representing a different region of the world, and the large enclosures provide a natural environment for the cats to live. It makes a great family day out, with plenty to do and see for both young and old. Another speciality you'll find throughout this region is the French favourite, macaroons. Watch them being made and have a go yourself at Macaroons de Roux, near the small town of Roux, run by husband and wife team Reggie and Harmony. With their engaging demonstrations in perfect English, you won't be able to resist trying these delicious sweet treats. I take a glass of water, a little bit of water, and I put this under the paper, like this. So it makes a lot of uh, smoke and... Uh... On the river Grand Marin lies the medieval town of crecy le chapelle With its quaint rivers and stunning scenery, it attracts many artists and photographers to its banks, wanting to capture its true beauty. Famous artists such as Van Gogh and toulouse lautrec used to visit here to take in the picturesque scenes. And if this region is good enough to attract those great people, then it has to be worth a stop on your next trip to France. saint amand is an incredible region with so much beautiful countryside and amazing historic locations. The biggest surprise is just how undiscovered it is by British travellers. But get here soon before that all changes.